Lena Kupina, and today we will talk about the series of Rhythmic Gymnastics World Cup stages. Let's figure out what it is, why it was invented, how the game works, and how it ended this year. And before the start of the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel as not to miss any new interesting and informative videos about gymnastics. Well, YouTube in Russia is still not monetized, so I will be especially pleased if you can support me using the links in the description. Thanks a lot in advance. Well, I would like to start this video with a story. The World Cup series is a series of competitions held under the species of the International Gymnastics Federation. So since 2009, the series of World Cups started. Until 2016, competitions were divided into Category A tournaments, where gymnasts could come only by invitation, and Category B competitions where all athletes could enter. Since 2017, the format has been changed and in addition to the World Cup series, the World Challenge Cup series have appeared. The essence is the same, only certain gymnasts can come to World Cups and any gymnasts can come to Challenge Cups. So in 2022, the series of World Cups has already ended. This year, there were five of them. At the end of March in Athens, Greece, at the beginning of April in Sofia, Bulgaria, in the middle of April in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, at the end of April in Baku, Azerbaijan, and the series ended in Pesaro, Italy. At each start, the gymnasts competed for all around and apart as finals for senior medals in the individual and group programs. When you open the rules of the World Cup series, it says that these are the best competitions which are held in attractive and well-known places with guaranteed broadcasts and limited number of participants. And the purpose of the series is to show how friendly the world federations are and as well as the gymnast. Well, let's be a little dis satisfied. Attractive and famous places, I agree that many people would like to visit these places. But on the other points, there are questions. So according to the rules, television broadcasting is mandatory if you want to hold World Cups. But broadcasting is far from always available for fans. First a geoblock, then they will cut out something, apparently considering that the first day of the tournament doesn't have to be shown. Well, about friendliness, which is now definitely not relevant in the modern world of gymnastics. For those who are interested in how the cities were chosen for each tournament, there is information about this in the rules. So preferences were given first to the federations in which they organized the best TV broadcasting, where the federation can offer the highest prize funds and also take into account other benefits that can provide gymnasts and participating federations, taking into the account the capacity of the hall and the attractiveness of the sites on which the tournament is organized. But then again, this is all documented, which in fact became the decisive point we probably will not know. Since the participation in the World Cups is limited, there was a selection. So in 2022, there were the following rules for participating in the tournament. All federations whose gymnasts were in the top 18 at the 2021 World Championship had the right to enter two gymnasts in the individual program. Plus, the absolute world championship of 2021, in our case, Dina Verena, has a personal place in each cup. True and sad, but from the words of Thomas Bach, the president of the International Olympic Committee, Russian gymnasts, because of their concern for themselves, could not take part in the tournaments under the auspices of Fitch. So, Dina Verena did not perform at any World Cups this year. The place was not transferred so it just disappeared. Federations that were not included in the top 18 could bring one gymnast per country. The host country also had a ticket to the home start. In case of non-arrival of gymnasts, rules provide additional invitations. The 16 best teams from the World Championship could also take part in group exercises, as well as one place for their host of the tournament. The most surprising thing is that probably not a single tournament was fully loaded this year, as it should be, based on those who who could participate. There are several reasons for this. Firstly, of course, new rules, team changes, setting up new exercises. For some teams, it took a very long time to get into shape and only by the last tournament, they entered into the competition. Another reason more known to the world because of which, in fact, Russia and Belarus could not be present at the starts. Also, for some countries, COVID has also become a stopper, which for some still has not been subsided. An interesting topic is finance and how much gymnasts earn in such tournaments. So the minimum prize found for each stage of the World Cup should be 29,500 Swiss francs, which is about 1,800,000 rubles for the entire tournament. 
In the all around, 8 best gymnasts are awarded for the first place. They give 2000 francs, which is about 120,000 rubles. Compared to all sorts of football and tennis players, the amounts are certainly ridiculous. But it's probably still nice since that the girls obviously don't train for money i hope well another funny moment about which i thought that without russia and belarus other countries will have earned more money but usually the same gymnast hit the jackpot it's true that i am now wondering if there are any similar prize funds for international cups that irina Viner arranges in russia otherwise russian gymnasts could lose their good income in this way well in the continuation of the income for the second place the gymnast receives 1500 francs and for the third 1000 francs the rest you can see in the table below for the final of individual events the figure is slightly less so the prize money starts from 1000 francs per event for groups only three teams are awarded and here also the figure starts from 2000 francs additional prize money is paid out to the fidge itself at the end of each series so for the victory in the individual all around 5000 francs are paid which is about 290,000 rubles, 3,000 francs for the second place, and 2,000 for the third place. So it turns out that if you are a strong gymnast, then you can make good money on World Cups. True, considering that most often the Rhythmic Gymnastics Federations do not particularly award athletes with financial support, I am sure that girls spend all their money either on leotards or their purchases or on other customable things for sports. So this means that the money goes straight into action. In winning the whole group event, the prize money also is paid extra here. The figure starts from 7,000 francs. For the finals of certain events, the winners from Fidge are not paid money. So to count in the sake of interest, then Sofia Raffaelli took away a little more than 600,000 rubles from the last tournament. In general, the numbers are not so sky high. So if you divide this by 12 months, since the series is takes place only once a year, then in general it turns out to be a figure similar to a salary, for which you can't even buy an apartment or a cool car. So it's definitely not worth going into rhythmic gymnastics because of money. Well, let's get to the end of the series. For the victory, at each stage they give 50 points. So the second uh, a little less and so on according with the table. Based on the results of all stages, the points are summed up, but only the three best results are taken into account. Remembering who won the World Cup, I think it's not surprising that Sofia Raffaele, the Italian gymnast, scored the most points. Her friend Milena Baldassari lagged behind her quite a lot. It was her who became the second. But if anything, only the winner is awarded the cup. Uh, for those who are surprised that this is not Brianna Colleen due to an injury, Brianna could compete only at two stages of the World Cup and as a, as a result could not score the necessary points. Ekaterina Vidineva in the all around, a gymnast from Slovenia, took third place. So we can conclude that half a year that these three gymnasts, judging by the scores, are now the main leaders in the world of rhythmic gymnastics. But this is if we forget about the Israeli gymnasts who did not participate in the World Cups consistently. And we should not forget about the Israeli gymnasts who did not always participate in the Cups. And also the Bulgarian team that frequently mixed up their competitors and did not participate in all the Cups. Sofia Raffaele won the hoop final in the World Cup series again. For this series, she won two gold and two silver hoop medals. The second in terms of points in the hoop was the gymnast of Uzbekistan and Brianna Kalin scored points for third place. Sofia won the ball again, but Margarita Kolosov lost here quite a bit. Milana Baldassari came third in the rating. In clubs, Sofia Raffaele won again. Ekaterina Vineva scored significantly less points, but took second place. Such breaks here are usually connected with the fact that many gymnasts take prizes during the World Cup series. The third place in the clubs was taken by an Israeli gymnast, Daria Tamanov. Given that Dasha in general rarely took part 
expect in the World Cups. I think this is far from her maximum. And the ribbon is the only type in which Sofia Rafaeli was not the winner. Here she does not have a single mold medal in the World Cups. Sofia most often did not succeed in this apartheid, but Ekaterina Videneva is famous for her strong ribbon. So it was she who became the winner in this apartheid. Having won one gold and three bronze medals, which by the way also shows that not only victories are important, but in general, a consistently good result for the World Cup Series medals. Brianna Colleen took second place, winning two gold medals in the stages of Sofia and Baku. Sofia became only the third to win a silver medal, uh, combining all five stages. In group exercises, there is also an interesting picture. As here, the victory in the all-around at the World Cup Series was won by the Bulgarian team. Their main competitor, the Italian team, took part only in two stages of the World Cup and could not score more points. Although both Italy and Bulgaria won two gold medals at the World Stages, the second team was Team of France. The girls won only once the gold medal on the first stage and as well a bronze medal at other tournaments. And the Italian team ended up third. Surprisingly, the Greek team, which won two silver medals, did not make it into the top three. So having scored high points for the first two stages at the World Cup, they found themselves on the third place. And this left the Greek team only in fifth place in the overall ranking. In the finals in individual events, Bulgaria won the final with 5 hoops in the World Cup Series winning 2 gold medals in 5 stages. Kazakhstan took 2nd place and France with 1 bronze medal stopped in 3rd place. The final of the series with balls and ribbons ended with the victory of Bulgarian team. The team of Kazakhstan stopped behind them and the Japan team became 3rd. Write in the comments who you remember the most from the World Cup Series in 2022. And did you get to know anyone in you? Well, remember that I love you all very much and bye bye